put in your gloves in your helmet when you're out and about on a motorcycle might be as mindless a task as breathing if you grew up around motorcycles. But not completely obvious if it's your first time ever riding a bike or if you're still saving up to buy your first bike. But this simple hack makes life much easier. Carrying a helmet around already renders one of your hands useless when shopping. And instead of losing another limb to glove carrying, waddling around with them under your arm, or refusing to take them off altogether, putting them in your helmet provides a safe place for them to tag along on the walk, which was going to be left hollow anyway. This is great when out and about. However, it isn't the best idea when you're at home. It's a better idea to take the gloves out of the helmet and store them separately, where both the gloves and the helmet can have a chance to dry out after a hot day's riding without adding extra sweat to each other. And storing the gloves inside the helmet for the majority of its lifespan can gradually reshape the helmet's foam over time, which is never good. Did you know that if you're an Apple Watch or similar smartwatch wearer, you can turn on emergency SOS fall detection? This will use your watch's accelerometer to detect any hard falls, like if you had to fall off your bike, and it will then notify your emergency contacts, whoever that may be. You will first be alerted before it notifies your emergency contacts so that you could cancel the call if it's a false alarm or if you're all right. So you don't have to worry about your wife randomly showing up while you're out for a ride. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. This is my alone time with my bike. But this clever feature could save your life, especially if you're a beginner. Even after just a few days of being a biker, you will come to realize that gloves and smartphones do not go together. Well, actually, the same goes for any touchscreen. But if you just need a quick few gestures, you can probably get away with it by simply licking your glove. I know it doesn't sound very appetizing, but for some reason, it works. I wouldn't recommend it if you never clean your gloves, and it's still easier to just take a glove off if you're going to be typing an essay, but before the usual frustration of having to practically take off all your clothes simply to check your directions drives you to reconsider switching to a car, give this finger licking good hack a try. Unless you have a bike that is as wide as a car, it won't have a handbrake. So when you park your bike, always make sure that you leave it in gear, especially when parking on even a slight hill so that your bike will have to crank over the engine before it's allowed to roll away. Not impossible, but very unlikely, and a method that has never failed me. This is also much easier than jerry-rigging a way to clamp the brake lever, although slightly less fun. And when you're forced to park on a hill, it's always a good idea to make sure that the bike is facing uphill. That way, gravity is acting in the opposite direction to what the kickstand wants to flick up. Of course, this is useless if you don't have a kickstand, but if you do, it just adds another failsafe layer. Pushing a bike forwards is easy with both hands on the handlebars, but the weight of the bike becomes more noticeable when pushing it backwards. So instead of having both hands on the handlebars, Try putting your right hand on the rear seat to be able to push the bike with that hand while steering with your left hand, rather than trying to pull the bike with both hands. You can then see where you're going and you can use your body weight more effectively. It might take a bit of practice to steer with one hand, but it doesn't take long to master. Cleaning GoPro mounts always feels like a waste of time and is close to impossible with their intricate shapes that require six fingers on each hand. Now, you're probably thinking, 
beginners wouldn't have a GoPro. But as a beginner, chances are that you discovered the motorcycle world on YouTube even before you bought a bike and fell down the rabbit hole of binge watching all your favorite channels only to discover that the job you really want in life is to be a motor vlogger. So long story a bit less long, you will eventually buy a GoPro. And when you get your mount dirty, whether it's because you're a dirt biker or just live in the muddy world of England, simply toss them in the dishwasher. A colder and shorter cycle with a bit of detergent does a great job of getting into all the grooves. And sticking in the kitchen, next time you get your hands greasy from adjusting your chain, which you will do at least the first 300 times you adjust it, use a bit of laundry powder detergent to scrub the grease off if you haven't yet invested in garage hand cleaner. I suggested sugar and dishwashing liquid in a previous hacks video, but a subscriber suggested this and its abrasive nature does the trick even easier. The only problem was that I first had to find out where we keep the laundry detergent. Where do we keep the laundry powder stuff? It's not where I left it. If you need to lube your chain, but don't have a paddock stand to get the rear wheel off of the ground, don't waste your time chasing the bike around. Simply pull the bike towards you to get the weight of the bike onto the kickstand and the rear wheel off of the ground. It is easier to get someone to help you, but not impossible alone. However, I take no responsibility if you drop your bike this way. Although, make sure you're filming just in case. But anyway, which is your favorite beginner hack? Please consider checking out the new join button to support the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and share it with a friend. Better yet, hit the like button and share some of your hacks for beginners down in the comments. And I'll see you on the next ride.